You will not stop me. Team. I mustn't put them in undue danger. We have to proceed with caution. You will not stop me. Let's keep moving. Wait, that soldier had this on him. Looks like a key. Well spotted. Thank you, Giselle. See? Even I save the day sometimes.
Attack! Manilope activity is off the meter. We've recorded an instantaneous value of 585,000 rails from the mana discharge. <laughs> Magnificent. you get here? Elise! Giselle! Jump! What? But I can't! Don't be afraid. I'll catch you. B but Your best friend is about to be taken from you again. Is that what you want? Tipo! You have to jump! I know you can do it! What nonsense is this? How pathetic. King Noctigal! Noctigal! Did they disrupt the experiment? Yes, your highness. But not before we collected the data. Very good, well done. Noctigal! I am going to put an end to your petty ambitions right now! So, is this her? Yes. Huh. So is this girl really supposed to be the Lord of Spirits? Oh, please, don't make me laugh! Ah! Are you alright, Mila? With the Lance of Kresnik, know that I will bring Arjul to its knees! That's why you invaded Sherilton? How can you keep committing these atrocities? Silence, boy! These matters are not meant for children such as you! How dare you! You didn't really think you could stop me, did you? Huh. Hmm? Ilbert, is that you? Rowan Ilbert? Wait, what? The Ilbert from the history books? Ilbert the Conductor? What business could one who cast aside both his army and his kingdom have here? Lady Dursel, I'm so pleased to find you safe. I was beside myself with worry. Huh. 
You have fallen far, Ilbert. But your new role as a servant suits you. Your Highness, this way. You need not trouble yourselves with these criminals any longer. Get back here! I don't like this. Mana boosting technology like that could pose a real threat in Ajul's hands. What are you so afraid of? We'll just have our military equipped with the same technology. Well, it might not be that easy. I do not care. Bring the data back to Fenmont at once. Do you wish to use it on the Lance of Kresnik subjects? Yes, and without delay. Stop right there! Huh? Well, if it isn't the phony Maxwell. Tell me, why do you use Spyrex? Why do you sacrifice your own people to attain power that you don't need? A king is supposed to protect his people. Huh. As if a charlatan like you could comprehend. It is my duty to rule this world. It's my destiny. But to fulfill this duty, to my country, to my people, power is a necessity. I must protect them both. All kings derive power from their people. It's a small sacrifice and a worthy sacrifice. Good speech, but it has one flaw. Really? Then do tell. If you must rely on trickery such as this, and if you truly need something like Spyrex to fulfill this precious duty of yours, then in the end you will achieve nothing! Not this false twisted mission, and not your imagined destiny, nothing at all! <laughs> you can lecture all you want, it changes nothing! You haven't even scratched me yet! It looks like... There were more flaws than I thought. What? That's impossible! So this is the power of will over destiny? I still don't have a scratch on me now, do I? Your Highness! You have no right to even talk about duty! She never once hesitated. Mila! Your Highness, this way! <laughs> No way! You can't be! Mila! You two all right? What's wrong? She's... Elise, you have to heal her! Quickly! <sighs> <laughs> she doesn't look so good! She's all busted up! Come on, Mila! Open your eyes! Why... Why did this have to happen? I wish I could say... There they are! The escapees! Get them! Time to go. Nothing else we can do here. Let's get her back to Sherrilton. Stop them! Activate the guards! Quickly!
Where am I? <sighs> Mila, you're awake! You're in my manor. Do you remember what happened? Yes. I attacked Noctigal, and then... Thank goodness. Stay in bed. I'm gonna call the doctor. Doctor? What doctor? That's enough tests for today, young lady. She's stable and alert. I think she'll be fine for now. What happened to Jude and the others? Are they okay? Miss Elise is downstairs. Jude went into the city to look for Alvin. You must be famished, Mila. Yes, you should eat what you can. You need to regain your strength. I'll order something hearty. Let's head downstairs. Oh, what's wrong? I can't move my legs. How much time has passed since I let him get away? I can't stay here any longer. Mila! Your legs! Yes. No tingling, no pain, no anything. <sighs> Jude, where's my sword? Don't be ridiculous. You have to rest. I have rested long enough. I must get to Fenmont. You're still going on about your mission? That's all over now. Don't you get it? What gives you the right to make that decision? Decision? Don't be stubborn. There is no choice here. You don't have any strength left. You can't even walk, let alone wield a sword. You have to accept reality. Jude, do you remember the people of Hamil? Huh? They were forced into a situation they didn't choose, and they didn't have the strength to fight against it. Well, yeah, maybe things would have turned out differently for them if they were stronger. So what is strength exactly? Is it something you wield to fend off attackers? Is it something you use to control the four great spirits? Is it something that lets you walk on your own two legs? It's none of those things. Not real strength. You just won't give up, will you? I can't give up. My mission won't let me. I must keep moving forward. Even if your body won't move at all? That's who I am. <sighs> Oh, good morning. Is something on your mind? It's just that a long time ago, my father healed a patient who had lost the use of his legs. Really? Yes, really. So I was thinking we could visit my hometown, La Ronde. What changed? You were so determined to hold me back yesterday. I was... I don't know why. I'm not sure what changed. Huh. If you say so. I just know there's nothing I can do to stop you. Even if you can't walk, you'll just crawl away and get into trouble. <laughs> you really are... A do-gooder? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'm in your hands. Right. We can reach Laurent by boat. So let's head to Sapstrath Sea Haven.
Drassel. You have my gratitude. And you have my hopes for a full recovery. Please take the utmost caution on your journey. I'm truly sorry we cannot accompany you. No need to apologize. You have much to keep you occupied here. Drassel's life is about to get very busy. She'll need your guidance. Yes. You're really leaving? Yeah. Take care, okay? You don't have to worry about being lonely anymore. Drissel and Rowan will keep you company. I know, but still... We should get moving. Everyone, you've been a great help. I'm in your debt. Time to hit the road. Thanks, all of you. Super Pals, don't split up! We stay together forever! I hope we get to see them soon. So, they're really continuing on. <sighs> so be it. I'm eager to see what your hometown is like. It's just a normal little boondocks town. It did used to be a famous mining colony, though. Since you're human, you must have parents. Are they a lot like you? I don't know about that. Aren't you looking forward to seeing them? Hmm. My parents tend to prioritize work. We don't always get along. I've read about child-parent relationships. There's something called an Oedipus complex. I'm pretty sure that's not it. Ah. So yours is more of the scheming, backstabbing sort of family? Exactly what sort of books are you reading? Getting pretty hungry here. How long has it been since I've had one of Mom's home-cooked meals? Demon fish, yeah. Ha, 
about to pour down on us. Better call it a day. Good idea. How did you become such an amazing cook? I can't even boil water without burning it. That's not true. Anybody can become a good cook with practice. Everyone has their own mission. <laughs> So you're saying my mission is to cook for Mila Maxwell? Well, in my current state, I can't even do that. I can't make dinner. I can't even make a bed anymore. Don't... don't worry. I'll do that stuff for you from now on. closer. I want to thank you. Please, take this as a token of my appreciation. We should reach the Sea Haven sometime today. Glad to hear it. Sure, I'm fine. But now what? H hey! Hold tight. Fighting alone really makes you realize how fortunate we were to fight by people like Rowan. I can't agree more. It isn't every day you get to ally with Ilbert the Conductor. What's the reason behind his nickname? They say it's because he gains full control of the battlefield. He once crushed three armies in a single day. The battle was called the Priscilla Miracle, and it helped create the Roshigal we know today. I could tell he was no normal man, but I had no idea that he was such a famous tactician. 
It was such an incredible honor to fight beside a living legend like that. And how might it feel to fight beside the Lord of Spirits herself? Hmm? Did you say something? Nothing. Nothing at all. No, sorry. We're just stopping by. Oh, okay. You got me all excited for nothing. <laughs> Tipo seems to be back to his old self. Yes, thanks to you getting him back for me. But now the team's all broken up. There's nothing we can do about that. Rowan and Drissel are too busy to play with us. I'm so bored. Things have been hard since her brother died. You're not supposed to be selfish now. But I just can't stop! Have you guys seen Alvin since then? No. He said he had another job and we haven't seen him since. He's a heartless jerk! Don't say that, Tipo. Work is important to adults. Then you play with us, Jude! You're not an adult yet! B well I, uh... I said no! Jude has to help Mila heal! I'm sorry to leave you all alone like this. Don't worry about me. I have Tipo. Look how brave she acts! Ellie's all grown up, too! Tipo, be quiet! <laughs> yes, I see what you mean.
Are your legs okay? If they start to hurt, just say so. Thank you. I appreciate it. I hope Elise doesn't get too lonely. She has Rowan and Drissel with her. You don't need to worry. I wonder what Alvin's next job is gonna be. I hope it isn't anything too dangerous. He wouldn't last long as a mercenary if he turned down dangerous work. <laughs> you really are a worrier, aren't you? It's not that. I just wish we could have all stayed together. This was inevitable. We all have different duties. Cheer up. We'll see them all again. Yeah. When you carry me on your back like this, I can't help but remember flying with Syl. Let me go check on the ship's schedule. I'll be right back. Lady Mila! I finally caught up with you! Ivor, what are you doing here? When I saw your face on the Wanted posters, I knew I just had to find you right away. But what about your duty to protect Nia Kara? I begged the villagers to let me come to your aid. They were very understanding. You imbecile! That's not the point. Don't you realize- Ugh. Lady Mila, are you okay? Your... your legs. Mila! You! Tell me what you've done to her! Stand down, Ivor. This wasn't Jude's fault. I brought this upon myself. But you wouldn't be in this predicament if I'd been by your side. Listen here, Pipsqueak. Handmaids are made, not appointed. One must dedicate his life to serving and protecting Lady Mila. It is an esteemed position for real men. Manly men! She may have commanded it, but clearly it was a mistake to let an uncouth, unreliable, underhanded stranger like you serve her holy person. Now, come with me, Lady Mila. Wait! My father might be able to heal her legs. If what you say is true... I will be the one to take her to see him. I've had you pegged as a phony from the moment I laid eyes on you. 
Now know your place and be gone! You can accompany her if you like, but I'm coming too. Hmm. Ivor, stop this nonsense. Please, Lady Mila, stay where you are. You will thank me for this later. How dare... Are you allow this to happen? I... Shut up! I don't need to hear your excuses! I tried! I said shut up! It's time for you to pay for your sins, you bastard! Phantom Edge! Demon Fist! Phantom Edge! Dragon Fury! Life there! Life there! All right! Phantom Edge! Demon Fist! Rending Slash! All right! Not good. Rending Slash! Eat it! Demon Fist! Swallow Dance! I must fulfill my duties. Pretty good. For a phony. Call me whatever you want. I just want to help Mila. How many times do I have to tell you? That's my job! Lady Mila! Mila! I don't have time for this. You two can duke it out as much as you want. I'm leaving. I'm sorry. If you still aren't satisfied, I'll fight you again later. Right now we need to get moving. <laughs> Ivor, I have something very important to give you. It's crucial that no one else gets their hands on it. Consider it as precious as my life. The lives of the four are counting on it. And you're entrusting it to me? I shall defend it to my last breath, Lady Mila. I knew I can count on my handmaid. Now. Return to Nia Kara. What? Your duty is to protect Nia Kara. But Lady Mila, my place is with you! Don't make me repeat myself. G Hurry up and take her. But don't forget who's the real handmaid. This guy! Uh, sure thing. And I promise, I won't rest until Mila walks again. You got that right!
I'm home. And what are you doing here? W well I was just... These kids wanted to have a race, you see, and well, um... And this little guy here is a real speed demon, so I had him push me in the wheelchair to keep things fair. And <laughs> let me guess, you just had to be the winner, huh? Oh yeah, never mind that, Jude. So tell me, who's your friend? I suppose that you know this girl. Uh, yeah. She's an old friend of mine. Uh, how do I explain this? Leia, meet Mila. Hello, Mila. <gasps> hey, what's wrong with her legs? Run and get the doctor. Stat, this woman needs help. Right. Roger. Are you heading home? I'll come with you. Here, use this. They say that back during the mining boom, this whole street was packed with merchant stalls. Is that right? I was just thinking how much this quiet little street fits you. Jude! How's the big city treating you? Do you like the capital? Hmm? Who's this? Oh, you ready to see me now, Doctor? I'm sorry, everyone. We have an urgent case here. You'll have to come back in the afternoon. Sorry, everybody. We'll catch you later. Promise! <laughs> You've really gotten into the swing of things here, Alea. Best nurse in town. Also the only nurse in town. But hey, you know how it is. Bring her in. Thank you. Hello there, I'm Dr. Mathis. Please, just lie still. I'm Mila. Are you Jude's father? Yes. Can you flex your legs? No. I can barely feel anything below my waist. I see. Ellen, you can leave now. Go check on Jude. Oh, okay. I need to run a few tests. Please, bear with me for a bit longer. Was that Jude's mother? Yes. Jude's our only child. What exactly is your relationship with my son anyway? It's complicated. We're friends. I gave him a pendant as a token of our friendship. Friends, huh? Pardon my skepticism. You look much older than him. And you are a woman. Jude tells me you once healed a human who shared my... condition. Would you give me the same treatment? Possibly. It depends on how these tests come out. I see. Either way, you'll need to remain in the clinic for a while. How are you feeling? Fine. I still can't move my legs, of course, but otherwise no complaints. How are the test results? I think my husband... Dr. Mathis should speak to you directly about that. May I ask you a question? Of course. How do you and my son know each other? 
<laughs> What's so funny? Sorry, it's just that your husband asked me the same question. I suppose this is what's known as parental concern. I get it now. You humans have so many admirable traits. We humans? Jude rescued me from a tough spot back in Fenmont. Because of his actions, he couldn't go back to the city. He's been traveling with me ever since. That sounds like Jude. He hasn't changed. What do you mean? Jude's always been too quick to help others, even when he was a boy. To his detriment, I take it? His friends teased him for it. He was bullied. Yet he didn't stop? He'd come home all beaten up, but underneath the bruises, he'd still be smiling. What's a mother to do? So that's why you... Ellen, we're getting busy out here. You know this is the only clinic in town. Derek! You need to stop spoiling Jude. He's a man now. Coddle him and he'll just grow softer. Hmm. So this is also parental concern. Although, the funny thing is, he just stood up to me for the first time in his life. He ordered me to use an Asperixis on you. An Asperixis? It would cure me? Let me walk again? Perhaps you are a good influence on him. In his efforts to help you, he seems to have grown bolder. As a father, I'm pleased. But as a doctor, I'm afraid the treatment isn't an option, despite my son's persistence. I see. So that's your final decision? It is. I'm sorry. Very well. I'll just have to find some other way. I see. I'm glad you understand. The procedure itself is simple enough, but it's not like you'd regain mobility right away. Hmm? I'd need to apply spirit arts directly to your nervous system. You couldn't move a finger without screaming. The pain would be excruciating. Even in the best case scenario, it would take several months before your nerves adapt to the arts and you could move again. Why are you telling me this? We can't get the spirit fossils needed to run the device anymore. Even if we could, the mana in the fossils escapes just as soon as you uncover them. It's a shame. The Asperixis might have cured you. <laughs>